believing, expecting from God tonight. Whatever situation you are in, whatever hardships, difficulties that you are facing today, believe. Let that faith rise up today. Even for those that are watching us online today, wow, kabalun sa situation karon. But one thing I know, God is going to meet at the level of meet you at the level of your expectation today. Father, we thank you, God, for your awesome presence. Lord, we thank you that you are always in a good mood, and you are a great big God, and there is nothing that is too difficult from you. Today, Lord, I lift you up, God, every life of every region night this, this evening in the name of Jesus. Lord, you've seen the very condition of their lives. You have seen, God, the condition of their hearts. Lord, the hardships, the difficulties, the challenges that they are facing today. But Lord, I thank you, God, that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think or even imagine. So today, God, I pray for an open heavens. I pray, Lord, you will start to pour out your grace, pour out your mercy, your love, your very presence, God, to every person in this place, both on site and online. God, I pray for your mighty hand to stretch forth and touch them one by one tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are no respecter of person. God, you love us deeply, Lord, and equally. So today, Lord, I pray that you will anoint our ears, Lord, that we may be able to listen and hear and receive your very word that we're about to, to listen to tonight. I pray, God, that every word that, will be, that we, will, we are going to hear will be planted in our hearts, Lord, that it may grow in our lives and bring significant impact. Holy Spirit, we invite you in this place. Move in your own special way tonight. Have your way tonight, Lord. And fill us up, God, till we overflow tonight. We lift your name higher. No other name, Lord, that we lift it high. But only your name, your mighty name, Jesus Christ. So we, we love you so much, Daddy God. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you. Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Come on, put your hands together to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, make it louder tonight. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Please have your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Salamat sa mga naakaroon diri sa on-site. Tell the person beside you, you look great tonight. Salamat sa inyuhang pag-anhi karon. And even for those that are watching us online, thank you, thank you so much sa pagduyog sa muang tanan karon takna sa kagabiyon. And I pray... That, that God is going to bless you even more. And ang pulong karon nga imuhang madawatan, tuuhi nga imuhang madawatan imong portion, lakwi, and you will see the miracle of the Lord, the very promise of God coming into flesh. Shout out sa tanang mga nananaw sa tua, labi na sa, sa team Hong Kong. Salamat sa inyong kinabuhi, nakjaja sa Israel. Our, our family in, in our cell group in Israel is growing by God's grace. Kamo palakpakan na to si Lord Diana. Thank you, Jesus. Of course, ang mga naasa Manila, no, Luzon area, CLC Luzon, is, it's on its third month. So this Sunday, it will be a third Sunday service um, na nagapanghintabo diha sa McDonald's, Quezon Avenue, MRT Station. It starts at 10 a.m. So if you want to join this Sunday, Pastora Arlene is going to be there. So magkita-kita mo karong Domingo. That, that's 10 a.m. McDonald's MRT station at Quezon Avenue. Now, so of course, sa mga taga CDO, no, na Christian, grabe ang imong pagtuo. Your faith really has moved the heavenly places, and I believe, um, hapit na yun by next month, well, we can have our meet up sa tanang mga naasa CDO. No, um, we are praying, declaring that there will be a CLC CDO. That it's on its way. No, palakpakan na to si Lord Diana. Of course, sa tanang mga taga Cebu, tanang mga taga Digo, shout out sa inyuhang tanan. And sa tanang mga naadri sa online, palakpakin yung mga kagalingon. Thank you, thank you so much. And by the way, madungog po ta sa, sa Go FM, no sa um, kahanginan, no? ato ang mga higala sa kahanginan. So we pray, kung aun sa imong ginabuhat karon kutob sa nakadungog, nakabati sa pulong sa gino, you will have your portion tonight. Are you all excited tonight? Tana excited ba yung woohoo? Thank you, Jesus. Now, let's continue to have our series. It's entitled, Living Intentionally. Everybody say, intentionally. Now, our life is ought to be lived not emotionally, not accidentally, but intentionally. 
No, nothing really happens or, or anything that happens, if you want that would sustain ang either imuhang trabaho, negosyo, skwela, you have to do it intentionally. Now, if, if walay dili intentional ang imong pagbuhat, it will never last, it will never sustain. Even in relationship. Now, kasi dili man sa tanang higayon, in marriage, in business, uh, dili man sa tanang higayon, when you wake up, no, you woke up like this. No? Night time, now you wake up in the wrong side of the bed. Now that you don't feel like it, di kaganahan, di kaganahan sa kinabuhi, di kaganahan sa tanan, di kaganahan mo skwela, di kaganahan mo, mo, mo trabaho, magbuhat sa negosyo, di lang kaganahan. No, you will be under the weather. But, that's why, kinahanglan dapat makaantiguta nga na ay kanang pagpukusa or intentional dapat ang atong pagkinabuhi. If we wanna progress and prosper in life, we have to live intentionally. Everybody say, living intentionally. Now, in uh, Joshua chapter 22, verses, uh, verse 5, no, muna to ang text na to the entire month. And um, it says here, sabayan na itong basa tanan. One, two, three, go. Love the Lord your God. Obey His laws. Stay close to Him. And with all your heart and soul. May God have blessing upon the reading of His word tonight. Now, how many of you love the Lord? Na dito magkakasubukan, no? A person who truly loves God, as the scripture says, na, na siya yung mga gina, ginasulti niya. Una, a person who loves God, walk in all his ways. In other words, ang tao nga nahigugma, tinuod, nahigugma sa ginoo, na dili lang naglakaw sa iyang kabubuton, kundi subay sa kabubuton sa ginoo. In all his ways. Not our ways, but his ways. No? So, dihan niyo mo makita kung tinuod nga love niyo ang ginoo, uh, kabubuton man sa ginoo yung ginabuhat. Now, because there are many people, it would be easy to say, I love God. Anyone can profess. Nag-isulti man po na sa Bible, daghan mo ingon na gino, nahigugma sa gino to their lips. Pero ang ilang kinabuhi, layo ra kayo. Because a person who truly loves, it must be seen in his ways. Sa iyang binuhatan. That's why he said, walk in his ways. And then he said, obey his laws. So a person who loves God, do not only walk in his ways, but also love to obey. Now, mo mutuman sa iyahang mga sugo sa iyahang mga uh, mga balao di lang balao din mga um, ha nasa tumoy sung dira tara <laughs> basta kana na gusto noha tong bisaya ba no sa iyahang sa tagalog pa alituntunin no sa iyahang basta kana <laughs> <laughs> Dili lang kay balaod in his laws, but in his standard, in his principles. Now, we, we obey. Now, we don't question God. Kasi if, when we start to question God, mura bitag, we are, we are God ourselves. Mura, di ba, when you start to question, ano yun naman na, uh, do you think God owes you an, 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 an explanation? I don't think so. Now, if you truly love God, you obey. Dili iso dapat ang obedience sa ginoo. Now, in fact, walay bawal, ikaw ang magpugong na di man ka gusto nga mabuhat o makasakit sa yaha. Kinahigug maman ka sa gino, kinahigug ma sa gino. Oh. Yeah. Ina yung katapad, kamusta yung mga obedience? <laughs> na, and then he said, stay close to him. O, oh, tanawa. Na, morning mga barometer ba? Kasi nalila kayo, oh, I love God. Really? Na, are you close with the Lord? Gano kayo ka close ng Lord? <laughs> di mag-abot pa, no? <laughs> di mag-abot, di sudsab. Listen, guys, you, you love God, but hey, how can you say you love you love God and you don't even spend time with God? No, di ba gina question pa ni mo? Ay, wala ko schedule. Ha, gina schedule ni mo ang imuhang date sa imuhang hinigugma? My goodness, no. Di ba, gina higugma ni mo ang schedule ninyo. Tama ba? In, in other words, because you love, wala schedule, schedule na. You make time. Because you love. Tama ba? Make sense? Right? So, so you stay close. You don't stay away. You stay closer to the person whom you love. And if you say you love God, close kayo dapat ng Lord. And he said, ito yung panghuli, no, work for Him with all of your heart and soul. A person who truly loves God is working for the glory of God. No, merong ginagawa para kay Lord. Ayan na naman tayo, di ba? If you truly, kasi nga, Love is not passive, it's active. No, it is a verb, an action word. 
In other words, it will be seen, not only heard. It will be seen by your actions, by your ways. No, kay kung ang gugma lang, kutubra, madungog, lugi ang mga amang. No? <laughs> no? Lugi ang amang, kung madungog lang ang gugma, ah, 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 huh? That's why it, it's an action. It has to be shown. Kaya nga, you walk in His ways, you obey, you stay close, and you work. Common din namin ito sa opat, action. Pasto na may stay. Ang stay di, wala na po lang. Stay close. In other words, it pursues. Kung asa mo ato si Lord, dikit, di magpabiya. Na nakuha na to. So, kanata na na, it's an action word. Walk, sa mo tang walk. No, walk in, not to walk away, not to walk out. No, and then obey, sabot ang obey. No, so, in other words, in this life, labi na as, as young professional, as young couple, as doing the business in the marketplace, we've got to understand, no, di, ayaw ikompromiso ang imuhang integrity, labi na sa pagpangalagad sa gino. The more ta dapat mahigugma sa ginoo. Why? Because the moment gani mawala ang atong gugma sa ginoo, the moment we lose our love, our love to the Lord, it's simply because we started to love the world or what's in the world. It's, it's either the two. Dili kid pwede nga, nahigugma si Kino, nahigugma po ka na, mga nga si Lord, lisod alagaran ang duha kabuo kagalon. No, you cannot serve two masters. Either you love the other, despise the other. No, the one or despise the, the, the other. So, you, you have to understand the more ta dapat na karon nga nahuman ang eskwela karon nga nakitanak ang nakay trabaho or you are working student no you are getting your way there Kar- karon nga nagstart ta build sa tong family karon nga ginapromote ni Lord imong negosyo or nagstart pa lang kasi imong negosyo nimo no we need God even more how many of you believe we need God amen so dapat mas atong ipaigting atong pahigugma sa Ginoo ang atong banding sa Ginoo dapat mas mununot ta sayaha kasi karong mga katapusang mga adlaw daghan ang mugawas nga magpaginoo Ginoo and how do we know? Kung wala kay close relationship, you won't, you can't tell. Akong ginaingon permanente because of my intimacy with my wife, because I'm too intimate with my wife, maski mag, magpiyong ko, nasa sa likod, kabalo ko siya na, ang tunog pa lang, kabalo ko. Maski madaghag mga tunog, kabalo ko, kapag mo, mo sweet call na siya, maski namin sa department store, pag mo, hinay man ako ang sweet call. Maski ana lang na, kabalo ko, ah, na akong asawa. Kasi sa iyan, yun sa ako pagkahibalo, di na ako ma-explain sa inyo, pero kabalo ko. Why? Because of the intimacy, I stay closed with her. Nasab tama na to? And definitely, if you love the person, wala issue ang obedience. No, kayo, wala man po kayo plano nga supakon siya, wala man kayo plano po na kontraho niya ang gusto niya. No, so, muna ang gusto na to i-emphasize ka ron, no, that we have to live intentionally. Na dapat tin ginatuyo maguna if you want that love to grow you have to make time you really have to cultivate and develop it so that it will flourish either gugma nimo sa imong pamilya sa imong mga anak uh, that's why kaming duha ni Mrs. Yana kabalo man mo na daghan mig mang ginabuhat na pero di ko gusto gamito ng word nga busy kay pag mo ka busy it's bondage under satan's yoke na we are not in the bondage of Satan's yoke. No, na amig, daghang ginabuhat para sa Ginoo. Nya daghang pumig mga, daghan lang mig ibang buhat. No? Mga workaholic man mi, pero we always spend time sa mo mga anak. Pini kagabi na pa mi game time, magpaabot mga anak, eh game night. Bisa kun sila man dula-dulaan. Pasig kapoy nak inigabot ako mang manglayat ning duha, labi na si third days, tarapan dako up. Usay third, nagbarong pa ko naka Black shoes pa ko, Daddy, boy, na, na, not this one. <laughs> Nakin di kay, di na kayo takalihok ka, yung kipit-pit ganun eh. <laughs> no, kayo ba, mabutunin siya ni third, malag po third, yan na. No, at nga na ko na niya, okay, okay, pag makita siya, naghubo na ako, tanggal na ako ng barong na ako, naka inner shirt na lang ako, naka shorts na lang ako, ah, mabag, Daddy, ah, basta naman buka ata, hallelujah. Praise God, Lord. Ang gamay po, yan eh, ang pinapay po ng gamay, ay, me too, me too, me too. Na, we always spend time. Why? Dili man mo question na good kay gugma man. Tama ba? If you love your job, maskin pag di up ni mo, magtug yapong ka, no? Magunahon na yapong ka, naordiran ba itong masing, masing, masyur. Damgudamguhon ko ka, why you love? Tama ba? That's why it's so impossible that you say you love. 
Ano ni gugma ka sa Ginoo pero yawa yawa imong damgo. Pero <laughs> magduda mo buta na oi. Dapat damdamuhan ka Ginoo kay siyempre siya gano na. Ini mo katapad pero ikaw ang topic ron. So we have to live intentionally. Na mo ni gusto ko idiin sa tuang tanan as we continue no. Oh, hallelujah. We, we talk about, on the, on the previous week, about the prayer of Nehemiah, the loyalty of Ruth. And today, Monia, kung gusto i-share sa tuang, sa tuang tanan, no? the Daniel kind of faith. Everybody say faith. Kasi it has, faith has something to do with our intentionality. No? Kung gusto ta manginabuhi, nga, na ay in, nga intentional, faith plays a very crucial role. Duha lang daw pakamat yan sa tao eh. Gugma o giyang pagtuo. Na ba ka na matay sa gugma? Na, pati itong wagi higugma. <laughs> Doon huwag na higugma, patay gamon. Basta ka gugma. <laughs> o kanipong pagtuo. Kaya nagtuo siya nga sila. <laughs> patay. <laughs> so they can't matay. No, because of their faith and because of their love. Kasi, strong mong gugay na God. No? Ligun, kusog kaya na ano. Ang, ang pagtuo mo na dapat atong pa, atong paligun atong paligunan is strengthen nato it has something to do pertaining to living in, with intentionality labi na sa tuwa nga nasa marketplace na kay dili pwede ang negosyo dili kanunay sa pataas na na gyud ni roller coaster gina na ay usahay lean season na po yung mga season nga kusog ingon ako sa inyo one time like Ben Chan has has been interviewed no and uh, he was uploaded kay uh, sa isa ka, isa ka journalist, kaya interview siya at siya na, so kumakita kayo ng malakas, ay hindi ho kami kumikita lagi. No, in, in a whole year, we only earn five months. We have seven months lenient season. We are not earning on those months. Really? So, sa Burr months, sa September, October, November, December, January, kana lang sila nga months ang ilang earning. But, he said, within those five months, sobra-sobra naman. In other words, you don't need to, to really earn the entire year. Amen? You just need five months. Tili lang masustain ang imuhang tibok tuig. But even mo explode and extend ang imuhang negosyo. Now, you don't need... David, when he killed Goliath, he just took five stones. But he was only able to use one stone. To kill Goliath. Now, what do I what do I say by that? It really takes a pinaka pinaka dako nga factor dito. It's your faith. No, it faith can really move mountains. That's why today, tonight, before we end, no, ato ang tunan ang pagtu kung naamantay mga pagtu. I know, medyo it, it's kana odd kay ato ginagisgutan si Daniel dili dili si Abraham, the father of faith. But there is something about the the faith that that Daniel has particularly in the marketplace. Now, Daniel had a great faith to God that brings a significant impact to the lives of many during his, his generation. We need to learn and have faith that Daniel exemplified in order for us to stand in this corrupt generation. Would you agree that this is, or I would say, corruption is rampant? No. If not surmountable, no, kind of grabby everywhere you go, corruption is taking place. Tama ba? No, gikan sa mga dinagko nga nakaukaw sa gobyerno or sa ban paper sa inyong kumpanya. No, <laughs> or pag punch sa bandiklak ninyo. Kung pwede na lagi, biometric naman. Hirma sa nibi. <laughs> Ipunch ako dito. <laughs> no, <laughs> kasi. Everybody say corruption. <laughs> now it is it is happening. Now it is happening. Now, for us to prevail, for us to sustain, for us to live an impact, a life that is impactful, we have to have a greater faith. And Daniel exemplified it. There may be many troubles and challenges we all be facing, but as lo- but so long as we have faith in God, everything will be all right. Amen. Na, kasi di man garanti nga nahigugma ta sa gino, wala na problema. Sana all. Pero dili. 
Kani, ganiha sa testimony gani ni Allison, the moment she started serving the Lord, mas nagadag ko ang problema. That's the way it is. Why? Now, because you have chosen side on the Lord, with the Lord. Siyempre ang, ang yawa, masukog sa mot ang yawa sa imuha. And what can you expect from the devil? Wala may buutan ng yawa, mangtas manatanan. Usay, magpakit-cute ng yawa ah. Pero maldito d'yo ng yawa, ini mga katabad, maldito d'yo ng yawa. No, mura mo siya buutan, murag lang, pero maldito d'yo na. Na kasi yawa mo gina siya. Na somebody says, uh, Geoffrey Canada says, it's easy to have faith when everything is going great. The real test of faith is when you're facing something that only faith in God will get you through. Would you agree? Now, it's good to have faith, but understand, our faith will be tested. Now, og ang pinakadako nga pagsulay sa atong pagtuo, kanang ginuo na lang yun. No, ginuo na lang yun makatabi. Sa kung saan mo bright bright o nauna, utok-utok ni mo, cannot be carry one. Ano ba no? Maglisod yung ka, makaingon siya ka, Lord, duhalay mga po, Lord, kuhaan na lang ko. No, or Lord, kuhaan sila. <laughs> no, okay. It, it takes faith. And Daniel was actually in that situation also. No, labi na sa tuwa ka ron, no, nga nagatrabaho, naganegosyo, na, naga-sideline. No, some of us are, are, are starting a, an, uh, becoming an entrepreneur. No, natin mga side hustles na to, either services, products, sales, what have you. No, we are we are in in uh, engaging or in that uh, nata sa marketplace tanan. But kabalo naman ta pag abot dito na yung mga SOP, na yung mga standard under the table sometimes, it's so hard for us to resist. Sa so, man ato ni, na naman na sila, wapat ay negosyo, ginegosyo na na nila daan. No, di ba? Nag-abot ni mo. Sa man yung negosyo, wapat ka na rin, negosyo na na mo ni. Hasta nang lisuda, di ba? No, lisud guys, ato because it has been there for ages. No, pero, kinahanglan nun na itong ang pagdo. Kinsa sa inyo how you want your faith will grow bigger. Amen? So we need to have a greater faith. Everybody say greater faith. Kaya lang, uh, just like Daniel, no, greater faith comes with greater responsibility. No, and your reputation will be tested. Daniel has a greater reputation. Muna isa na nakita na ako, si Daniel nasa nasa dako nga reputasyon. No, markado siya sa mga tao. Il, in, inila siya, ilado siya. Kasi his reputation is not tainted. When I was studying on this, I said, Lord, sana all. Or, Lord, how I wish. Kaya lang natin mga wrong turns, wrong decision making sa itong kinabuhi. Tama ba? We, we caught in, our, in our, ourselves with wrong crowd. That's why, nagkag mga wrongs. And our reputations have been tarnished. No? It was stained. But thank God. Na tell that person beside you, it's never too late. Now, you might have thought na murag, Pastor, wala naman ko yung reputation, wala na ko yung maayong reputation. Uh, sa karun siguro. But when you start to dig in your heels and believe once again in the Lord, you will see how God will move. Amen? Now, so, Daniel had a strong reputation. He had a great reputation. Let's check it out. In Daniel chapter 6, verse, verses 3 and 5. Now, Daniel so distinguished himself among the administrators and the satraps by his exceptional, exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. At this, the administrators and the satraps tried to find grounds for charges against Daniel in his conduct of government affairs. But they were, they were unable to do so. They could, not, they could find no corruption in him because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt nor negligent. Verse 5, Finally, these men said, we will never find any basis for charges against this man, Daniel, unless it has something to do with the law of his God. Nakita ninyo? Na, na, Nagi mga tao ba nga, hallelujah kayo. Na muna-muna na yung tarong-tarong sa grasya sa ginoo, 
kano sa akin nag-usab, nagbago na binutan, di pa yung sila magsurang-surang sa imo, no? Dami kay pung na ilhan ng takas sa una ay. <laughs> Gibuhat pa rin imo sa kwasa una. <laughs> na kaya lang, no? Na aji na, mamani gusto na kay pasabot sa tuwa, no? Dili pasabot nga ng alaga na sa Ginoo that you are invincible. No, no, no. All of us are still vulnerable. We still have those spots, weak spots that we have. That is why we need to strengthen our faith even more. Kasi kung magdipindi kasi mo nakita si matap, you will compromise eventually. You will start to complain. You will start to succumb to their standards. That is why dili pwede nga magsigil ang tag live by sight. That's why that's what the scripture says, we have to live by faith. Kasi di na to kaya kung 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 puro sight lang ka, you will really give up. Nitanaw ni mo si mong pamilya, di na kaganahan. Niyar ko ni mong katapad. Ini mo tabad di ba? <laughs> no? Kasi makita man nimo mga flaws, makita nimo ang tainted tarnish nga nga reputation. But it takes faith so that God is going to open our eyes though we may see flaws, we will be able to see God's power to flow into them. Makita man nimo and that is faith. Sa imong negosyo tanan nimo pa bankrupt na, pero di na ay ginabuhat si Lord. Eh. No cleansing lang, lahi, lahi ang imuhang, lahi ang imuhang makita nimo. And there would be a different fire from within when you strengthen your faith. And people who has greater faith has a greater reputation. Daniel, that's why I, that's why I, I put a title on this, the Daniel kind of faith. Kasi mo, maklaro, mo ito, tarong na kong introduction ganiha itong key verse na to, na if we really love God, if we really have faith to God, dapat makita po sa ato ang binuhatan. I mean, it has something to do with your reputation. So, kamusta man mo, na dili pwede nga, karoon na nga na ka sa ginoo, tapos nang negosyo ka, tapos walay kalainan sa ila, ha? Daniel was distinguished, has a distinguished qualities, superior to anyone else. Tanan sila, pariho mga korap, pero si Daniel, pati kung sila, naglibog lang utok, na nakit ilang ulo, saan mag ito ni Pagwa? Mag ito yung mabutang-butang ani siya, ha? Because they would not, ikaw kaya, tanahon, susihon ka ka, makitaan ka ka na ay kurap sa imo, ha? No? Muna nga, kinahanan na ito, sama ang pagtuo ni Daniel. Lord, tagay ko, guwanin ang pagtuo, gino? sama ani. That to the extent, because of his stronger faith, it builds up his reputation. People who has a greater faith, who have great faith, a person who has a greater faith has a greater reputation. Ang kanindot, reputation has something to do with integrity. Ang root word sa integrity, integer. Absent mo ato sa mathematics ninyo. Sa algebra, no? Natog siguro. Nang, nangihi mo ato. <laughs> no, integer, pasabot whole number. Buo. Buo ba? Buo. So, wala mo na si, si Daniel, wala sila yung makita. Kasi grabe ka, grabe ka solid yung integrity, yung reputation. No, that is, probably, basing mo na kinahangla na ito ko, Lord, di nilang takinahan lang pagtuo. Lord, tingay ko pagtuo, gino, para makapower power ko, Lord. No, more than that. Na upan na mo, para di kita ko bakol. Ay, si pangay piso niya, bangon! Lakaw! Dagan! Pauli! <laughs> no, kala na mo, gusto na mo itong kinahan ng power. That, that's, that's, that's not bad. No, it would be spe- spectacular. Kaya lang, di man ko na mula hutay, it won't last. But a changed life, a reputation na taas, my goodness, it will, it will bring a ripple effect to many. Na, Nasabda mo na ito? No, so, muna itong basig muna yung gusto ni Lord Karun, tagay ko kina ng pagtuo, gino, para Lord, mabuild up na ako, balik, gino, ang reputation. Di lang ako, gino, imuhang reputation sa kuha. Kaya nailhan ba ako nila, nila Lord, nga nangalagad sa imuha. Lisod man kayo, Lord, kung nangalagad ko sa imuha, nang pag, may pagkailan nila, pero magtanaw nila sa kuha, puro mga kadimunyuhan. No, lisod, sad. So, we have to build our reputation. Na, kinsay, kinsay andam, magkana ay greater faith. Andam ka ma-build ang iyong reputation. Barugan ni mo, no? Walay kompromiso. Hallelujah. No? Walay, walang kamag-kamag-anak, kamag-anak, no? Walang pare-pare. <laughs> walang pamilya-pamilya. 
Walang kamag-anak, kamag-anak. <laughs> Yaman, nakita ito sa madyungan, sa, kuhan, sa, <laughs> na sa kasino. Reputation na yung reputation ba? So, lisod kayo mo, sunod sa mga tao nga, may klarong reputation. Ina yung mga katapad, kamusta yung mga reputation? Bisang unsaan ni mong share sa imong pagtuo sa uban, pero basag, basa, hugaw yung mga reputation, they won't follow you. No, si ikag, istorya, pre, kanang, kuhan lang mag ginoo, you know, pero kabalo baka maayod yun ang ginoo. <laughs> Love kay ka ni Lord ba? Namatay si Jesus para sa ato ah. <laughs> <This would die. laughs> na wala impact, wala impact yung kinabuhi. Ay, wala, basag man yung, yung reputation niyo. This generation, needs, uh, the marketplace needs a people like you who builds God's reputation in you. Amen? Palakpakan na to si Lord Gusog. Now, oh, thank you, Jesus. Mano na to na in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Dili lang, greater faith doesn't only have a greater reputation, but also it comes with a greater risk. Mga po nakita na ako na greater risk. Now, kang, the, kang Daniel, there was a plot against his life because of his faith to God. Gibasa na to ganiha, di ba? Nagplano sila. So, okay. Nagtungod sa reputation niya, tungod sa skills, kahawod niya. Nganong hawod man si Daniel? Kasi naman si Kadlok sa ginuugod. So, dili niya kaya nga tikasan o isubstandardize ang iyahang performance no? sa, sa hari, sa algalon o sa bisakinsa pa. Kasi mas nahadlok man siya sa ginoo. Mo ni pinaka importante na I was just talking yes last night na naagi connect si Lord sa kuang uh, sa mga ni mami when when we went to last two weeks in Tagaytay attending the pastors intensified training pag uli na magisundo mi sa mo ang mga leaders dito sa sa Manila sa CLC Luzon and asa na pastor sunduin na namin kayo tas ilahaming ilahamin gipakaon dito sa Tagaytay and then sa daghang restaurant gagian namo dito mi sa walay tao nga nga restaurant Kaya ano, ah, dito lang tayo sa walay tao. Kaya hindi kanina kayo tao. Dugay kayo mabot ng pagkaon. Tapos manguli pa may dito sa, ihatod pa may dito sa Mandaluyong. So, pag abot na mo nito, kami lang ang tao ito. Ano, order, tao, tao, din, abot isa ka pick up. And then, pag tayo na na manguli, hindi ulit isa, ano siya na, nagpailaila siya, ay, pastor po na ikaw, agil lang po na siya. So, nag, naglaman nuhay mi. And then he said, ah, ano din po ako, agil, ano din po ako, pastor. Ay, kami din po, mga pastor kami. So, we were talking, ano, Pagkahuman, dahil na mula ka, siyempre, ang inyong pastor, kabalon mo mo sa ito, kung sukot naman nanong. So, tamnan na mo. Nakuratan na siya itong itanong. Nanawag siya gabi. Siya na, pastor, talagang nagulat kami. Kasi, ano mo ba, pastor? Kasi sila, manggul, contractor sila. Pastor siya, pero contractor siya. Katong ikan na mo, membro niya ang tag-iya, ang second floor na sila yung coffee shop, inigga Domingo, Sunday service nila dito. So, mo tayo church, in, in other words. And iya, siya o yung asawa, contract, nasa sa construction firm, no, nasa, mga contractor sila, nasa sila project sa Abriza. And young wife is, is an engineer. So, in, in other words, sila ang sanay nga mga hatag. Matong pagtawag niya gabi, siya na, Pastor, talagang nagulat kami, umiiyak kami ni misis kasi first time naming naranasan na kami yung nabigyan. Di man po din, kadako, nakahilak sa kadako, kaya. <laughs> Tama, rapag ito, hindi kita nandako. <laughs> kaya lang, siyempre, mga may kwanit, nor, tam na na ako siya ito, ba dahil ako, Pastor, I just want to show to your ministry and sa inyong family ninyo. What you're doing the Lord is so important. So, ako lang siyang gi-affirm, tam na na ko. Yeah, Siyempre, nanon naman buta para sa ministry sa, sa Manila na to. Yeah, sa iha dito, big deal di kayo kasi sanay siya maghatag. Di siya sanay hatagan. Kasi siya pasor kasi, uh, ang, ang tingin kasi ng karamihan, meron na sa amin lahat. Ano ko siya? Sana all. <laughs> Pero first time mo namin yan, no, na, hanggang nakarating kami sa bahay, hanggang ngayon, no, pinag-uusapan namin ng kasawa. Sabi niya, pasor, next week nandiyan, nandiyan kayo sa Dabao ko. Oo, kasi taga-dabaw naman ako. <laughs> kasi hindi po, Pastor, may project kasi kami, Pastor. Tsaka gusto namin kayong makausap para gusto namin makita yung ministry at tsaka ma-mentor nyo rin kami. Di ba? Stranger. And because of that, nakonek na ako sila. Nagkinahan sa Pastor, uh, kail- kailangan, may project kami sa Abriza, kailangan namin ng sub- subcon. Ay ko, ah, meron, meron kami. So na sila, nakalan si Nakmich. Then, nag-tied up sila. Wala pa sila nakita. Siya, yan din po yung isang rason ba't pupunta kami next week sa sa Luzon, sa Davao para makita namin sila. Kasi ano siya na? Kasi noong pastor, uh, last November, niloko kami nung subcon namin. Malaki yung nawala sa amin. Ah, oh, nagu, grabe. Oh, nakalan na kami siya. Tarungan ninyo, ha? <laughs> ano siya? Pero yung si Kuya Alan, ang bait. Wow. 
Bait ka usap, walang problema, nagtagae gamay. <laughs> ano ka to dlo, ano ka to wa day problema. Gusto na din problema. Tsaka kasi mga kausap namin, tas bigla nawala. Tas sakit sa ulo na daming tanong, daming daming mga ano, reklamo. Tapos iniwan lang kami sa ere. So naluoy po ko sa ere. Ba't ginna connect bitaw ni ni Lord? Na my point is that even in the in the business world, no, ang talamak ang korupsyon. That's why, pagtingon na ito itong pagtuo. Mailan ta, dili itong simbahan, dili, bahalag dili itong alan. Ang alan sa ginoo sa tua. Makita sa itong kinabuhi. Amen ba? Kahit sa inyong trabaho, ay na mo sigpangawat o bad paper, ha? <laughs> Iuli, <laughs> Iuli na yung bullpen. Ay, nadala mo na ako. Ah, grabe, isa nakabuk, ba, ano? Karton, nadala ni mo. Nal- nalimot ka, guli. <laughs> na, so, the risk. There would be people that would plot against you. Nagi mga tao. Tinood ba na? Competition. Gani, pati gani, pamilya ni mo, planuhan kay kagdautan. No, si Joseph, di ba? Planuhan sa iyang mga, mga igsun. So, naagi mga tao, they would plot evil to harm you. Naagi risk ka sa itong pagtuo. Kasi kung bugi-bugi ka, ah, ayun na, kay bugi na. Di mo nyo na na. Di, di na kasamuk sa mukun, di ba? Kasi sa spiritual realm po, mungyong pa mungyong yawa, hoy, ayun na, waya, kaya tuwa na na. <laughs> di ba? Mga yawa, mandi mo. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun, dito ta kayo na yung mga buhutan nito, dito ta. No, ni karon ikaw nga nag, you, you bear the name of the Lord, siyempre ikaw ang atak, atakon sa yawa. Muna ang planuhan kag dautan, kaya gusto nila mapareho ka nila. No, pero yun yung katapad, it takes greater faith. No, yan, yeah, naaman siguro yung, na may mga risk. No? Uh, basahan na to, sa verse 7 and 9. The royal administrators, prefects, satraps, advisors, and governors have all agreed. Nakita ninyo? Dili na ni mga basta-basta. Mga higher level ni sila. No, nagplano silang tanan, nagkahiusa. That the king should issue an edict and enforce the decree that anyone who prays to any god or human being during the next 30 days except to you, your majesty, shall be thrown into the lion's den. Now, your majesty, issue the decree and put it in writing so that it cannot be altered in accordance with the law of the, of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed. So, King Darius put the decree in writing. Ilang na ilad? Ikaw ba naman? Tanan join forces? Tapos nagbuhat sila og resolution? Say mo, ang hari, maay man po ni, sige. Dili wala lai pero kabalugod sila nga katutan na nilang iplano against Daniel kasi wala lain dito nga na distinguish nakita na ilhan inila nga nag nga ampo sa Ginoo dili sa iyang imahe so mo gitin ang target now listen your faith will be attacked that's the risk when we have a greater faith yeah it builds a reputation greater reputation mailhan ka Maski pag nang sa suok-suok mo, mahayag ka, mabantayan ka, mabunta ka pansin ka, ano ako na ngayon yung pirminti makita? Kasi na-build mo reputation because of your faith. Bakit anjug ka? So yung reklamo, pasabutan na, it works. Kaya lang, along with that, may risk. People will start to plan an attack, a plot against you to harm your life. Nakagay mo na, 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 no, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to prepare you. Dili pasabot kung nay mga attack mo atras na lang ta ay unana mo galing pasud dinon ta mo balik wala gyud sa Ginoo. Sa yawa na ta miguhon to mayawa si Spire. Dili <laughs> pwede oi. <laughs> si Spire kay sa yawa. No, so unsay ang pangutana ana? Unsay gibuhat ni David? Ay David ni Daniel. No, when there was an attack. Watch this. Next, Daniel strengthened his faith on difficult times by praying to God even more. There was a plan and a plot to harm him. But when David, when Daniel understood, ayang gibuhat, he did not give up. Normally, mga God, pag na yung mga attacks sa itong kinabuhi, biya din ta. Let's always, we tend to always throw the white towel in. Quit. Give up. I need space. Astronaut? <laughs> Astronaut mode din tatanan. No? Hey, Daniel did, Daniel did not do that. Watch this. In verse, in verse 10, now when, when Daniel learned that the decrees, the decree had been published, he went home, 
He did not whine. Tsaka, grabe ko na sila. Pamatay na ko. Wala siya nagratol-ratol. Na, he went home to his upper, upstairs room or upper room where the windows opened toward, toward Jerusalem. Kasi pag mag-pray mo na sila, it, it's always no, padulong sa Jerusalem. No, mo, mo ginang ang mga, sa, sa mga, mga, mga hudyo. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God just as he had done before. In other words, hindi siya nagpapatinag. Gana iyang gin, wala niya gin, sabi ang gibuhat. When he learned, ah, maugin din na plano, hindi learn. Giplanuhan ko niya. Samot, ang problema mo sa tuwa, pag nanay mga attacks, hindi nanunta mo ampu. Mahadlog nanunta, ma-overwhelm nanunta sa fear. Eh, dool sa ginoo, balik. Just like, that's why we've got to have a Daniel kind of faith. Pag nanay mga troubles, nag mga bayronon, nanay mga chiki, gana isu, bayronon, wala pa'y nasudlan, na hallelujah. Ayun ay pabuang-buang, matay na tayo. Doon sa ginoo, ang bulod, tabang. Masalamat nilo, salamat ginoo, kasi kung di mo pa kaulawan, salamat Lord, kaya kung tingis kalibutan, kalibutan. Lord, salamat nyo. And the next thing you know, God will give you wisdom. God will give you an idea na like a light bulb musiga sa imong una-una. What is happening? God is on the move. Just like Daniel. He just prayed, abriga, wala siya nanirado niya. Ha, nanay ko, saka doon na. Eh, no, wala ko, wala ko. Daniel just remained calm, steadfast. And he came, he, he went home and just worshiped the Lord. Iyapang gihimo three times a day. He prayed. When there are attacks that would come into our lives, don't lower your guard. But rather, strengthen your guard. Man your post. Your post is not para mahadlong ka tumusukol. Your post is in the presence of God. Pray harder. Amen? Build your faith even greater. And guess what? With a greater faith, there is a greater reputation and comes along with a greater risk. But don't worry. Dili lang greater risk ang naa. What happened afterwards? There was a great reward. Kinsay gusto greater reward. No, excited mo ron. <laughs> Ganun yan ka. Kung ba, ano din? Oh, ano din na? Pero dili ka biyaan ni Lord. Ha? Na greater reward. Bantog di ay dako ang attack. Kay dako man di ay ang plunder. Amen. Dako man di ay ang harvest di ay. Just like they, 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 David, when he killed Goliath, dako makin plunder. Dako kaysa gidaog ba? Dako bounty. Dako reward. Posible ka ha, ka ng dakong atak nga gibuhat sa yawa sa imuha, gialaw sa ginoo para iniglihok niya, panalangin inigabot sa imo. Amen? If we only see it in the eyes of faith, no, ka ng mga kaanag-away-away sa imuha, ka ng mangtas ng manager, ka ng mangtas ng amo, ka ng mangtas ng client, di ka kahibalo, gamitun pa din na sa ginoo para mabot ang dakong promotion para sa imo. Kita ni Buddha. There's a great reward. So, ayun ang tanawa ang risk. Continue, remain with your reputation because you have strengthened your faith. You made your faith greater. Surely, abot ka sa tumoy, you will always enjoy the greater reward. And that's my prayer today that each and every one of us would dig our heels even more and stand strong in our faith that though risk attacks may come on your way, but greater the reward that God has prepared for you and me. Uyugay mo tabay na greater reward is on its way. It's on its way. Unsa man ang unsa ni great great reward? Hallelujah as we end. Upat ni kabuok nak butangin na tong keyboard na para mahuman ako. The greater reward, una the miraculous move of God's power manifested. Kinsa gusto makakitag manifestation sa God's power full hand sa imong kinabuhi, sa imong ginikanan, sa imong negosyo, sa imong mga kliyente. Hallelujah sa imong finances, sa imong ang health nimo. There would be greater reward. That's a part that's part of greater reward. Watch this in verse 19 to 22. At that at the, kasi ang in, indeed nakita si nakita si David ng kampo gidakop si David gate sa siya dito sa sa, sa lions den gate sa gitsa dito but the reward came wala may nabuhat ang hari but watch this 
At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continually been able to rescue you from the lions? Grabe si Daniel, verse 31. Daniel answered, may the king live forever. Pag-greet niya, suko siya, Daniel, saman! Tanawa na kalaki ni mo. Huwag ka niyang buba. Tanawa niya. Giluwas ka. Ang ingon niya. Mabuhay ang senior hari. <laughs> Long live the king. And he was to his surprise. In verse 22. My God sent his angel and shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, Your Majesty. Daniel, noon sa naman ka, buhi pa ba ka? Asa? Okay ra kayo, Senyor Hari. Gabi, una pa lang ko niyabot. Nagpadala na ang ginoog ang hil. Nagtakom sa bakba sa mga leon. <laughs> Gigaungan. Basta ang liba. The mic. The mighty hand of God will start to move. Our hands may be tied up. Our hands may be limited. Our hands may be short. Hindi man siguro takabuhat nga to sa atong pamilya. Hindi man siguro takabuhat sa karun nga sitwasyon. But don't mistake in it. Just because your hands are tied, God's hand are tied too. No. Just because your hands are short doesn't mean the hand of God is also short. No. His hands are too powerful. And that's what you need. It takes a greater faith. But the angel, the Lord sent an angel already. The king was on. The second reward. Ito maganda. Diba? Pinagplanuhan si Daniel ng mga kasama niya ng kasamaan. Mga kasamaan na kasamaan ang dala. No, Naagi mo yan, ano? Akala mo kasam- kasamahan mo, puro pala kasamaan. Wala tayo magagawa. Kasama mo na eh. But watch this. Daniel stood still in his faith. Took the greatest risk, but never compromised his greater reputation. That's why he enjoyed a greater reward. The evil plan against Daniel has backfired on them. Kanang mga nangaway sa inyo, ha? Wala man talaga po nga, buhatan po sa inyo. Because the world call it karma. But the Lord call it sowing and reaping. Kasi mo mo nang itanom sa inyo, ha? So, dili kita kinan mo, fine. The, the Lord call it, if the world call it karma, the Lord call it vindication. God is going to vindicate you. Just stand still. Parug lang. Tuuhin lang gino. The more tamo tuo sa gino. Pag walang wala na tayo, mas lalo tayong kakapit kay Lord. Wala naman. When a person is about to fall, he would tend to grasp anything that he can that is available so that he won't at totally will fall. Manggunit ko na, manghawig ko na, bisag kung saan na nagunitan mo, na natin panulit yun, hawak patalim. Kasi mo may available, mo may nagunitan nila. Bahal nagdautan kayo, pero wala sila choice because they thought the world is falling apart. That's why we make sure that our faith is there. Di, di takay mo sa atong pagtuon na to, along with our friends, along with our families. Basig diya sila makagunit sa imuang kusog. When the world is falling apart, you are there. You stood still. Sa yung paniniwala sila kakapit. And they will see the mighty hand of God move. Daniel stood still. And therefore, he enjoyed the greater reward. Nag-backfire nga to sila. Anong mga tao nang away sa inyo? Buhatang kag-isyo. Maskin ko nung tinuod. Ay na po, gawaya sa mot. <laughs> tinuod ba po? <laughs> Hilak na lang sa ginoon, Lord, tinuod po ba yan, Lord? Langot lang, Jun. Ah, doon lang sa ginoon ba? And just humble and let the grace of the Lord abound. 
and His mercy. And guess what? The Lord started to move. They backfire sa ilaha. Watch this. Verse 24. At the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. And before they reached to the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Nakita ninyo? I did not rejoice kasi nabalik sila ang plano. Kaya lang that's the way it is. Ganun talagang mangyayari. That is why kahit ano pang pangit na nangyari sa buhay natin, let's not resort on planning evil towards others. Hindi ka kayo malo, babasik ka ng turn of events. Yes, dautan siguro kayo sila, pero because of those injustices, because of those attacks, constant attacks, basik mo ito makapaduol sila sa ginoo mo, tuaw sila sa ginoo, and then what if God is suddenly will step in, intervene, and step into the situation? I don't want to be found on the other side of the Lord. So, we have nothing to do with those attacks. Pastor, usahaw naman, pasagdaanan na ito. Yes! Sa tawhanong panlantaw, wala tayo gibuhat. Pero sa espirituhanong panlantaw, ang ginuo ang nagapamuhat. And it would be better. So today, whatever attacks, yun abot sa imuha, pastor, masigibahog na yung ganito. Mm-mm. Strengthen your faith. Di ko kasabot, pastor. Di po ko kasabot. Pero sa akong nasabdan, si Lord, nagyan ako pasabot sa imuha. Pag-abot sa reward, diyan lang ang, wow, Lord, hallelujah. Kaya lang, luoy. Katong mga nagplano, daw, tan, tanawa. Unsa ka dako ang damage. The ripple effect. Dili lang sila ang ibahog sa layon, pati lang asawa o ilang mga anak. Damay ba? That's why I don't want to find on the opposite side of the Lord. So please, when we see on the other hand, since we strengthen our faith, when we see those people that are being under attack, ayo ayo kapil. Kasi di ka si buhaton ni Lord. In this case, no. it backfired on them. It backfired on them. So those people that are like planning attacks niyo, sige lang. Labi nagtinood. Sige lang. <laughs> Tinood man. Just cry out to the Lord. And guess what? God is going to intervene. Balik sa ilaha tanan. Second to the last. The name of the Lord was glorified and the people are drawn to Him. Because of what happened, because of the greater risk, and Daniel did not soak him and waver his faith, he enjoyed the greater reward. And part of his reward, the name of the Lord was glorified. Possibly ka sa mong ibang agian karon. Diha mo agi ang ginoo nga mo kuha siya dakong himaya sa imuhang sitwasyon. Pinaagi siya mong giagian. God is going to get the greater glory out from that greater mess. Di man takasabot ka that greater pain, that greater shame, that greater trouble, that greater fear, anxiety, what have you today, God is going to get the greater glory when we stand firm in our faith and took the risk and trust the Lord in the middle of that, of that mess. You will see that God is going to get the greater glory and people, what happened? People will be drawn back to Him. In verse 25 to 27, the king, then King Darius wrote to all the nations and peoples of every language in all the earth may you prosper greatly I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom people must fear and in and reverence the God of Daniel for he is the living God and he endures forever his kingdom will not be destroyed his dominion will never end he rescues and He saves. He performs signs and wonders in heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. Nakita ni Muna, it's the king himself. Those people in authority. Suddenly, you thought for a while na murag wala na kapilian, wala na ibang pinagkakaisahan ka nila ng lahat. Hey, don't be a short-sighted. Look up. When you look around and there's nothing there, 
Don't look down on yourself, but rather look up and see the great big God has a greater ways, for His ways are higher than our ways. There's always a way when there seems to be no way. Because God is all powerful. God is able to do. Don't give up on your faith. Kung wala na, nawala na ang lahat, wag lang ang iyong paniniwala sa Diyos. Nawa na ang trabaho, nawa na ang kaguyab, nawa na ang negosyo, gisulot ang imuhang kliyente ni mo sa uban. Hey, don't throw your, your life just because of those bad things. Those, those are part of the risk. Understand that we still have a great big God. But rather, stand still. Increase, make your faith larger tonight. When Daniel took that risk, he enjoyed a greater reward. The king himself wrote a decree, a new one. Tanang mga tao, the name of the Lord has been glorified and people has been drawn back to Him. Nakita ni mo? Kasi pag na hindi nagkumbuhato ng gino, di lang yun na para sa imo. Para pud na sa ubang mga tao. Labaw para sa iyang kahimayaan. Amen. Kama pala pang ikusok si Lord. Can we all stand to our feet tonight? The last reward I want to leave to all of us. The Lord made Daniel prosperous, successful, and influential. Simple ka ha? Ba't ito kinapaagi ka ni Lord anang uh, road of difficulties? Because He wants to grow you some muscles. Gusto ni Lord mas malingkun ka. Because He wants you to become a model, an example of His greatness, of His faithfulness. Kasi di ba, kung brand new nga sakinan, yeah, pricey. Pero, di man kayo makabilib-bilib. Kasi, brand new man siya. Pero ka nang restore 1960 nga Mustang. O 2023 nga Mustang. 2023 nga Mustang, nasa 3-4 million. 1960. Restored, fully restored, Mustang Yamon. Katong likid nga dagko kaya na? Murag tartanilya? Murag ganun sa kalesa, ito ang likid? 60 million ang price. Nakita niya? Kasi fully restored. Been through a lot. Simple ka, banto ginanay mo kinabuhi, you've been through a lot. Because God is about to bring restoration, the greatest restoration. Because He wants you to display and say, Hey, look at this. This one is brand new. Makasana all sa inyo, but uh, no biggie. This one got more value. Because this one been through a lot. God is going to display you. God is going to bring, get greater glory sa inyo ang kinabuhi. Out from that mess. Out from the trouble. Out from those risks will come out a greater reward. Watch this in verse 28. So Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius, the reign of Cyrus the Persian. Daniel, when you, when you read it, oh, okay, he prospered siya. But let me unlock your understanding tonight. Daniel is not a Persian. He was not in his land. He was a foreigner. But he prospered. He was blessed on the land that he does not know anyone. Simply ka, dalawin ka sa ginoo, pabuhat sa ginoo, sa imuha ka ng negosyo, ka ng trabaho, dili ni mo na feel. So Daniel prospered. It's not because it's not gonna be about you. It's not about your knowledge, not about your strength, not about your ability. It's about Him. Always about Him. I never wanted to become a pastor. Gusto ko magartista. Gusto ko magsiman. Gusto ko magkusinero. 
Gusto ko sa cruise ship. Gusto ko abroad. Gusto ko gusto ko nagkakwarta. Mura po nung ikaw. Pero mas gusto mo na akong ginoo. When the opportunity came and I saw the Lord, I said, Lord, wala ra ni layo, ra ni si mong buhaton, ginoo. I may not able to find it in my field. Hindi man ako, BS Mathematics man po na akong kurso. Layo ra ni pagmamastor. Hindi man akong field. Pero na rin akong faith. Hindi man siguro rin mo na field. Hindi ka kay Baludia. But it will be alright when you have faith. Greater faith. Just make your faith once again. Some of you probably has almost drowned your faith. Your faith is flickering. The fire in your faith is flickering. Muran lang nag lighter. But why not today ask God to once again set it ablaze to light the to light the fire again and let that flame consume you once again and make that faith greater. Di man siguro yung muna feel, di man siguro kasalayin yung lugar. Labi na sa mga nananaw sa tuwa sa online, basing nakakasalayo yung lugar. You thought for a while, di matani mo, gusto na akong kinabuhi, di matani ako inaani. I am a stranger to this, but hey, God is never a stranger to anyone else or anywhere else. He's God, He's everywhere, He's present, He's omnipresent. And it will be alright. The same God who blessed and prospered Daniel will be the same God who's going to bless and prosper you. All we need to do is just to have a faith greater. So why not tonight lift your hands up higher and just cry out to God, ask Him to strengthen your faith. If your faith is flickering, if you're losing faith on what God is, has placed you, believing in you, why not today cry out for God to strengthen that faith again, build His reputation in you. Take that risk. Take that risk. Lord, today. I may not able to understand, Lord, the very situation 
that your people are in today, both on site and on site. But God, I pray that you will stretch forth your hand and touch them tonight, one by one, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen their faith once again, Lord. Let faith arise in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Naman siguro yung mga sitwasyon ni Gayon Gino that Lord we have stained we have tainted and tarnished your name but today I pray dear God that you will once again strengthen our reputation your reputation in us God your name in us as we strengthen our faith in you Lord let your reputation your name will be built Lord in every life in every business in every family in every venture in the name of Jesus Wherever you have placed us today, Lord, in the community, in, in, in the campus, Lord, in the company, in that business, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, they will start to see, those people who once again will start to see God's reputation is being built in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you will strengthen our hearts and our minds, that we may be able to take the risk. There might be people, Lord, today, that are planning, planning evil to harm us, to harm our health, to harm our marriage, to harm our business, to harm our, our, our side houses, our company. But Lord, I thank you, dear Lord, that you are with us. Just like how you have been with Daniel. Lord, just like Daniel, Lord, today, we will stop whining, we will stop worrying, but rather, Lord, we will start coming to your presence and praying, believing, knowing that you are all powerful. You are almighty. Wala man siguro may mabuhat kino sa physical, pero salamat kino nga dili ka muhunong mong pamuhat sa spiritual. So today, God, I pray as your people are going to take risk, believing once again in you, Lord, taking step forward towards your direction. Lord, I just pray, God, that your greater reward will start to take place. The mighty move of your hand will start to manifest in that business, in that job, in that status, in that health, in that relationship, in that family, in the name of Jesus. How you have moved, Lord, in the very situation of Daniel. You shut the mouth of the lions, Lord, in the lion's den. I pray, God, starting today, you will shut the mouth of the devil, the mouth of those people, Lord, that has been a lion ready to devour us, Lord. Shut their mouth. Lord, I pray that you will send forth angel in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, salamat that out from these challenges, you will get a greater glory. And that's what we want to happen, God. You are going to get all the glory. It's not about us, Lord. Not about our name, not about our strength, ability, talents, gifts. But it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. And thank you, Lord, a part of that reward. As you have made Daniel prosperous, successful, and influential. Lord, I thank you, God, that you will do it to us as well. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those who put their faith upon you, God, will never be put to shame. I just pray, God, today with the courage and faith of Daniel to every person in this place and even for those that are watching us online, God, and let them as they take risk, let them experience a greater reward, Lord, and once again build your reputation into our lives. We love you so much, Lord. Why not today start to open up your mouth and start to give glory to God. Start to give thanks to God for what He has done. What He has done. You may thought your mind is telling you it's not done yet. But hey, in the spiritual realm today, the moment you believe, it is done in the name of Jesus. It is done in the name of Jesus. That miracle, that healing, that restoration, that blessings, that breakthrough, that prosperity, that turning around mm, it's happening today in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I don't want to end tonight without giving an opportunity for all of us today to believe once again in the Lord 
why not put your hand to your chest today and say this prayer with me say Lord Jesus thank you for your great love please forgive me for all the sins I have done today I have opened up my heart please come into my life be my Lord and my personal Savior please guide me walk with me that I may able to live this life bringing glory to your name thank you Lord Jesus for the gift of eternal life that I have received tonight in Jesus name Amen and Amen come on pala pakikusog si Lord listen listen for a while if you pray the prayer of your heart what is happening the gospel has come upon you and because of the power of the gospel Jesus has redeemed you from any form of sins and slavery of sins He has redeemed us when His blood shed on the cross He redeemed us there's a redemption power activated in you today the moment you believe and what's God going to do next He's going to restore your life whatever the devil has stolen from you your integrity that reputation I'm talking about a while ago God is going to restore it He is going to restore you and He's going to renew you. Those are the three important things that took place. I want you to understand that when the gospel come, came upon you, God has redeemed, redeemed you. He renewed you. Muna, nausabi mo muna una, nausabi mo spirito. That's why to continually be renewed in the Lord, it is so important to be connected in a community of renewed as well. Those people who believe God, who have faith in the Lord. That's why if this is your first time here, in, in regeneration please connect with those people who invited you because those lives who invited you are once lost but now are found you were able to hear the testimony how the Lord renewed them and how the Lord restored them I'm excited you are restored in the kingdom of God in the family of God today we want to personally welcome you to the family of God you may not able to join CLC, but hey, should you wish, it, well, that would be fine. But I want you to understand, you join not just a religion, you join in the family of the Lord, in the kingdom of God. Even for those that are watching us online today, welcome to the family of God. We rejoice, we celebrate with you. Come on, palapangan nato si Lord. Hallelujah. Please have your seat for a while.